This is Linda Ronstadt's interview from her December 1st, 1993 appearance on The Tonight Show. She also on the program saying a couple of numbers and those are in a separate YouTube post, so hunt them down. Very nice. Let me ask you about that, because uh, I saw people kind of watching in the monitor, the, uh, the instrument there. That's a... That is an interesting instrument. I heard it years ago. It took me 15 years to run down someone who knows how to play it. It was an instrument that was invented in the 18th century. It was wildly popular, and it was in every household at that time. And um, in the 19th century, they discovered that people that played them began to lose their minds. And so the instrument was banned. All public performances were banned. Really? But you know, that, that, that happens with a lot of musicians. One has only to look. Well, this is not so. I find playing. You know, this is not so. Why do you think I come on your show, Jay? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> no, but it's, 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 it was thought to be evil? I, think I mean, people died? It might be one of those kind of religious things where if you like something too much, it must be bad, so they get rid of it. You know, it's like, oh, this is too good. So, But it, it, it has an exquisitely heavenly sound. It has a very pure tone. And um, uh, what was really happening was that people were getting lead poisoning because there's lead in the little crystal bowls. Well, if you should explain so it, it's, it's way, glass. It's leaded crystal. And if it doesn't have lead, it... Um, uh, Right. It doesn't speak properly, you know, it doesn't, right. won't sing right. So you play it the way you would like, like people Just that can like pay the rim wine of glass. a wine glass? Yes, but if you have a crystal wine glass, you're getting lead poisoning too. <laughs> From drinking it, but never oh, mind. Oh, Don't I drink see. too so, much wine. So and you would be just fine. get it, you literally get it through your fingers? Through your fingers, yeah. Now, he has his lead levels monitored rather closely, and he said that they're rising slightly, but that people in the 18th century wore, I think, lead in their face powder and they had lead in their house paint. And so, you know, it, uh, oh, so that, it was, so that is so there was a lot more ambient lead in the, in, the, in the environment. Otherwise, I'm sort of worried every time I hire him for a gig, you know, <laughs> I feel like I'm contributing to his early demise. Oh, yeah, I guess. But, um, <laughs> I guess, I guess if he starts setting off the, uh, the motion detector, right, the thing, the metal detector at the airport, then you know we'll probably <laughs> switch to another guy. So I, I just assume they would use lead-free glass or something. Now. It doesn't sing. It won't sing. And the other thing, I don't know, if this guy has told me all these things about, about playing his instrument, but he tells me that if you get nervous, it stops playing. So that's a good way to test if he has, he has no stage fright, wow. his nerves of steel. The thing will just that's stop amazing. dead okay. because your oil comes out yeah. of your fingers and it makes it... Are you going to do another song for us when we come back? I am going to. I, I know you're going to. <laughs> but I just, it's a nice way to put it. Thanks. Linda Rostow, be right back. Hey, Linda, sign